Hi, welcome back to the channel. So this is for Samsung users. Um, now, a lot of you are using Gboard or Microsoft SwiftKey. There's a few others out there as well. But I thought it's worth doing this video because the Samsung keyboard has come along leaps and bounds and what you can do with it. I'll be using the pen as a pointer. Uh, of course, you don't need the pen if you've got any other Samsung phone. This keyboard comes as default. Uh, there may be the Microsoft one also built in SwiftKey, which up to recently has been my go-to one, but I think this is worth having a go at if you haven't used it a lot. So these are the things to tick. Um, predictive text, some suggested emojis, uh, stickies while you're typing, auto-replace, uh, English, choose your language, text shortcuts, uh, which I'll explain actually here. So what you can do with text shortcuts, say you're often filling in a phrase like, I wish you a happy birthday, you can type down the letters MB and then fill in the word. And every time you type in MB, it will automatically type in the word or words wishing you a happy birthday. Uh, this applies to all the other keyboards as well. I recently did a review of the Microsoft versus the Gboard keyboard look at the notes below for the link on that one. More typing options here. Auto capitalize, actually that should be turned on. Uh, so if you want to add a period or full stop, depending on what language you're from, uh, speak, uh, it does that. Multilingual text prediction and enhance uh, accuracy. That's one of the new features and it really does work very well. So you may not know about that one. So these are the things to turn on and you can always pause this video and tick yours accordingly. Um, and I'll basically, if you press the pause, I'll sit back, have a cup of coffee while you're not looking and then you can catch up with me. How's that? Now, high contrast keyboard allows you to change the colors. As you can see, if I show you that, you can see how that looks or this one. tap here and that's another high contrast one. I turn those off and you'll see why in a minute. They only give you a choice of two there. Here you can choose your standard keyboard, one-handed, floating keyboard, split keyboard for those with big pads and stuff. Uh, very interesting. That's under landscape mode. So you have two choices. That, that's quite a new feature I believe as well. This is very useful especially for those who have, let's say, one of the bigger Samsung phones. Not only can you adjust the height, as you can see here, uh, because a lot of the Samsung phones, including this, which is the S23 Ultra, has a slightly curved screen, to, in case you have pressed the buttons by accident, you can actually increase or decrease the width. Uh, you cannot do that on most other keyboards. Just thought I'd show you that, so I press done there. Uh, Font size, very nice. You can, if I show you this, if you look at the actual font size here, they're getting bigger or smaller. Very nice feature. So a lot of customization there. Customized symbols, so you can have all these, you can change what symbols you want added, what you don't want, the ones you use all the time. Voice input. I choose the Google voice typing because I think it's more accurate than the Samsung voice typing. Um, now, the swipe works very, very well. That's basically when you tap, tap the first letter of a word and then just slide your finger along. And so long as you get the first letter right, it's very, very accurate. Very, very nice. Okay. And I'll show you some of these features in a second. Let me go back. Now, for those who've got an S Pen, uh, you can actually turn on handwriting. And now... Uh, you can use the S Pen to write in a section and it will instantly convert it to text. Once you turn that on, by the way, this works, uh, uh, the S Pen works on everything from you, every other thing. If you're looking for a video on YouTube, you just write at the top and it recognizes it. I've turned that off. And if you want this on, any screenshots are also copied to the clipboard. Uh, I don't use that one. This is very good. 
These are the ones that you can tick to add on from the Bitmojis. These are more like Bitmojis. GIF is tenor, so you can add funny little, little videos. Uh, if you have music, you can add a music tune there. I don't use uh, Spotify. Uh, Google, translation, Grammarly. Uh, if I'm spelling that right, uh, that is a great spell check, a bit like the old fashioned days on PCs, where it would highlight all the words you spell incorrectly. That's very, very useful, and it's free, by the way. All these features are free. And then you can also reset it uh, in case you messed around, you can't remember what you did, so that's useful there. So, uh, show button to hide the keyboard, which I have, and I have that turned on as well. So for instance now, oh you choose your language, uh, right so now we just go to, back to the notes, here, and just to show you, so today I'm going to, I'm going to use the swipe, I knocked the camera by mistake, so again the emphasis is getting the first letter right, so you just go like that, today is a great day. You don't have to be accurate after you've got the first letter for a, it's not easy doing this whilst I'm sitting down and recording because I can accidentally press stuff. And now if you look at that, tap on this and you'll see it's corrected it. Um, and here you can go through stuff and it shows you all the words I've made mistakes or corrections or things you can add. Very, very good. Um, other things that you can do here, you don't have to have the uh, number keyboard if you don't want it. Um, and at the top, let me just show you all these features. That one there is the clipboard. So you don't need a third party copy and paste, but that's true of the other keyboards as well. Things that you use all the time, you can actually put in the clipboard. Here, you can have uh, download bitmojis, but I haven't done that. So if you've used the um, AR, which is built into Samsung, you can then do a photograph of yourself using the AR VR section, and then you could use these as stickers. So uh, there you go, and it should come up here in a second. There you go. And you could add that for free, so you've got stickers and they work on, I believe, every app. So if you're using WhatsApp, Lion, Messenger, you could add your own stickers and I should spend more time because it doesn't really look like me, but you can make them look like yourself if that's what you want to do. Okay, so make sure you press the like button, by the way. <laughs> okay, so we go back here. This is, uh, so you can add GIFs as well. Wait a second. So I could add any of those, press it, same thing applies. This is also new, this is from the Google keyboard uh, and it allows you to mix two, I'm not sure what you call these things, animations, whatever, very similar to the Gboard one. So you could add uh, one or two together, so I could tap on that one and this one and create and two and it will create uh, that. There you go, and animate, done. And now I can send that the same way. Okay. It's going there now as we speak. So you've got that, all these other things as well. <laughs> Amazing, look, <laughs> a lot of fun. Okay, now let's get back to some serious stuff here. Google Tra oh, firstly, you can use the pan as I mentioned. Hello, and you see instantly. So if you're really fast at writing, um, this is a great way of also using the input there. I'll go back. Uh, the microphone, I'll type, put it there. I want it at the end. Hi, if you're still with me at this stage, please press a like and share this to anyone else, any of your friends. I'd greatly appreciate it. And this is using the Google Voice on the Samsung keyboard, and it's very, very good and very accurate. Uh, 
This you can also do in other languages as well as. Okay, tap to pause. Go back, Google Translate. I will type in, let me just uh, put it there, and then next one. Today is very sunny. Okay, and all I've got to do is press the bottom right here where you've got the translate icon, and that's it in Thai. Very good, and of course it works the other way around. All built in, all free, uh, and I just thought these improvements are so dramatic, and for people that dismiss this keyboard, which is a default on the Samsung phone, you may want to give it another shot, a shot if you're using other keyboards. Um, Okay, so let's carry on here. What else is there? Gifts, grammar, I mentioned that, handwriting, text editing. You've got this feature here where you can actually do much more uh, complex editing if you so wish. Very, very useful. So if I move here, by moving this up and down, basically you've got a little mouse. Very, very useful. Up and down, as you can see. Okay, uh, that's the text editing. You can change the layout of all these things at the top. You've also got a uh, floating keyboard if you want, Samsung Pass, which allows you to automatically fill in information on banking accounts and etc. using your fingerprint, uh, which is excellent. Change the size, as we mentioned. It goes straight to YouTube if you want. You've got a search automatically built in as well. I'm going to show you how I got this keyboard, which is exactly the same. But what I did, I, you go to Goodlock, which is on the Samsung store. It's called Goodlock. Download that. And then you download an app called, from Goodlock, and it's called Theme Park. OK, so this is level two, if you like, on how to customize your Samsung keyboard even more. So here, this is for, you can customize this phone to your heart galore. I mean, it goes on and on. You can customize your quick panel, your icons, volume. Anyway, but here, you'll notice, bottom left, keyboard. You can now change your layouts to exactly how you want. Here, you can change every aspect of this keyboard. Uh, so you can see uh, the colors. So for instance, you see the actual keyboard. Let me try and show you here. These suggestions at the top are yellow. You tap that. I change it to a, a red. Press OK. Notice all those have now changed red at the top. Not very practical because you can't see them. So I do that. I press OK, and now you'll notice all these are a kind of whitey grey colour. And you can do this for every aspect as well as. You, and once you've done all that, you press download and it saves it. And you could even share that to other people, that actual particular layout. There's no confidential information in that. So it's just for the layout. And you can even adjust the... Uh, background picture. If you wanted a background picture, you could do that as well. You, instead of having a, a dark background as I've got here, you could do that. You, uh, you can change the size of the space bar. You could change the thickness and of each one of these boxes, uh, the size of it. Uh, and let me just show you here. So you could change that color. You could put an image there and so on and so on. So this is level number two where this mess around, don't do it when you're in a rush, and if you don't like it, you just don't keep it. But what I've done uh, here is this pretty much, I'll just show you this one is July. I press apply and you'll see it. Not that I like this one too much, but I was messing around. And if I now go back to the notes here, that's a whole different keyboard. It looks like SwiftKey actually but it is still the Samsung keyboard, 
but I've changed the colors, the layout, the thickness. I've got borders around the letters. I've changed those colors, but the functionality has not changed. Very, very nice. So that's level two, and that shows you how customized you can do it here, and it's very nice. Now, level three is taking it really, really to the uh, ultra top there. Using good luck again, you download Keys Cafe here. It's another module. As you know, Samsung phones are famous for its ability to customize anything you want. Right. Make your own keyboard. So here you can have a basic keyboard, you can have a chemistry keyboard, anything you want here. So this is stuff you just mess around with yourself. If I take you through each one of these in detail, it would take forever. So here, under style your own keyboard, this is the ultimate in terms of customization. I don't know if there's any keyboard that can do all this stuff I'm about to show you. These are recommendations, suggestions. So if you tap on, and don't forget, these suggestions can be edited or you can create your whole and whole new one. So let me find one that's, uh, okay, at least it's easy to see. I press apply. Okay. And now it's that one. And if I go back to effects as well, each time you press a letter or a number, uh, you can get different effects. Look, I'll just show you examples. And you can even change the sound as well as if you so chose. At the end of the day, I didn't stay with it. So let's just choose that one, apply. And now, if I go back to the keyboard here, by using all those different uh, the theme park using the keyboard add-on. Look at this. Actually, I'm not typing any word. I shouldn't do that really because it's starting to learn that stuff. I, I hope you enjoyed. It's amazing the video. It's it's working all that out by itself. I only typed in the first letter. And the rest of it, it works out. So it's very good. And here, uh, I mean, it's really, really clever, I think. So give it a shot. Hopefully uh, you got something from this video. Please press subscribe.